evening, everyone. I'm Fletcher Mackle. And for better or worse, since Tom Benson owns both franchises, the Saints and Pelicans are linked together. That said, in two weeks, we'll know if the Pelicans are just like last season's Saints, a team that was long on promise but short on delivery. Or maybe, just maybe, the Pelicans will dig down deep and find the resolve the Saints couldn't and make it into the postseason. The seasons for the Saints and Pelicans are eerily similar. Both teams entered with playoff expectations, and both teams teased fans with moments of greatness. But both lacked consistency. Fans expected Sean Payton's team to pull out of the mediocre rut it was stuck in in early 2014 and make the playoffs. But it never happened. For the Pels, after difficult losses early in the campaign, few expected Monty Williams' charges to get back into the postseason hunt in the difficult Western Conference, but they have. The Pels trail Oklahoma City by just a half game for the eighth and final playoff spot in the West. You know, has the team overcome a lot? Absolutely. I mean, all the stuff that we've been through, you know, it's, it's, it's a testament to the players that they've continued to fight. They haven't given in. Um, we've put ourselves in a position so we're, we're, you can be satisfied with that. Now you've got to move on, and, and that's our approach right now. Uh, we've put ourselves in a position to maybe do something special. Now we've got to take advantage of it. The Pelicans have a huge game Tuesday night in the Smoothie King Center. They host the Golden State Warriors, the best team in basketball. The Dubs have won 63 games, and they've already clinched home court throughout the playoffs. Every team has a weakness. <laughs> every team has a weakness. Um, so, yeah, every team has a weakness. What's theirs? Well, you know, they they depend a lot on, on jump shots. Um, you know, it's, it's the old saying that goes, you know, you live by the three, you die by the three. Um, so they, they shoot a lot of jump shots, and they, they, they're risky. They take a lot of chances. You know, with the ball a lot sometimes. So, you know, there, there's some areas you can capitalize on it. A victory on Tuesday night won't put the Pelicans in the playoffs, and a loss won't eliminate the team from postseason contention. But a crucial victory in front of the home crowd may prove to fans that the Pelicans have the true grit that their neighbors on Airline Drive lacked in 2014. One thing missing from the Pelicans' playoff push. Fans. The Smoothie King Center hasn't seen a true jam packed sellout in years. There are many excuses given for the lack of enthusiasm. Some fans don't love head coach Monty Williams and his even keel demeanor. Others feel fatigued after four years of rebuilding. But nonetheless, the Pelicans' final three home games are crucial, and having a true home court advantage could help the team get into the postseason.